Hi beautiful people and yeah, welcome to my channel. My name is Eva Daniel and today we are going to be learning how to make um, a basic bodies block. Now if this is a video you like to see please watch to the end and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It is free. So the first thing I did was I marked a line. This line is going to be serving as the shoulder line so it is also going to be serving as the starting point of our video of our bodies so from that line i marked downwards 7.5 inches now this is also going to be serving as our chest line so from the shoulder line down to 7.5 inches now if it is also advisable to measure on yourself to know where your chest line is so after marking tiny dots all across i just used my straight ruler to connect the dots together so here now i have my shoulder line and my chest line now from the shoulder line again i'm going to be going down by 10.5 inches now this is also going to be serving as my bust line or my bust point line now it is also advisable to measure on yourself to know where your bust line is for me i have 10.5 inches so from the shoulder line i'm going to be marking 10.5 inches all the way across in tiny dots before I would use my straight ruler to connect the dots together so now I have my shoulder line my chest line and my bust line now the next thing I'm going to be doing is from that shoulder line still I'm going to be going down by 16.5 inches now this is going to be serving as my waistline like I said before, it is advisable to measure on yourself to know where your chest, your waistline is. For me, it is 16 inches um, plus half an inch I added. So I am marking 16.5 inches all the way across in tiny dots. Then I'm going to use my straight ruler to connect the dots together again. So here I have my shoulder line, my chest line, my bust point line, and my waist line. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is to put my shoulder measurement. Now my shoulder measurement is 15 inches. 15 inches divided by 2, I have 7.5 inches. So on the shoulder line there, from the center front, I'm going to be marking 7.5 inches. Now for the neck width, the neck width I'm going to be using is 8 inches. Now 8 inches divided by 2, I go 4 inches. So from the center front of the bodice, I am going to be marking 4 inches all the way inside. Then for the neck depth too, I'm going to be marking 4 inches downwards. So, I'm going to be connecting um, the dots I marked together. Now this is the point where you get to decide the neckline you want for your bodies. If you want a round neck, a square neck, a um, V neck, whichever neckline you want. So this is how you place your ruler if you want a v-neck but for the purpose of this illustration i am going to be doing a round neck so i'm going to be placing my ruler this way and i'm going to be connecting the dots i made initially together to get a round neck like this so the next thing i'm going to be doing is the dot i place for my shoulder I'm going to be connecting it down with a ruler I'm going to be connecting it down to my chest line like this so this is going to be serving as my armhole that sorry my armhole line 
<laughs> so on that shoulder line i'm going to be coming down by one inch and i'm going to be connecting it to the point where my neck um width is so the reason for this is because our shoulders are not straight so in order to accommodate the shoulder well we have to slant it like that so here i'm just making labels i have my chest line my bust line and my waist line so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to be inserting my darts now i am going to be coming to the bust line and i'm going to be marking my nipple to nipple measurement now mine is eight inches eight inches divided by two is four inches plus half an inch so i'm going to be marking 4.5 inches all the way from the bust point to the hem of my bodice now if you're making the blouse a very long blouse like let's say blouse of 25 or 26 inches the um that should end two inches above the hip line now the hip line is 24 inches downwards from the shoulder line so after marking 24 inches your that is supposed to be ending two inches above that 24 inches but since i'm not making a really long blouse i'm just making a basic something so i just marked the line all the way down so since my body is not since my dart is not going to be starting directly on my bust line so i'm going to be coming down on the bust line by one inch like this then on the waistline i'm going to be taking half an inch on both sides i'm going to be taking half an inch here and half an inch here then i am going to be connecting them in a v-shaped line so i'm going to be placing my ruler like this and from that point i'm going to be connecting it down to the waist i'm going to be doing the same thing on the bottom part too on the two sides i'm going to be repeating the same process on this other side too connecting it from the points to the waistline so this is my waist that's all and as you can see the body is already forming so so the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be inputting my measurements so my boss measurements vary by four whatever i get i'm going to be putting it down on my chest line so that is it on the bust line to the same thing my bust measurement divided by four i'm going to be putting it there the waistline to the same thing my waist measurement divided by four i'm going to be putting it on the waistline plus one inch for my darts now after inserting my waist measurement the one inch for the dart i removed i'm going to be putting it there now that is the rule of that whatever you take out you're going to be adding it back somewhere so now the reason why we are dividing by four is because we know how we're going to be cutting our pattern into unfold so by the time you fold um the front bodies and you fold the back you'll be having four panels by the time you fold the front into two and fold the back into two, you'll be having four panels. So that is why we are dividing into four. So after marking out my measurement, I'm just going to be connecting in a straight line. Sorry, I got a bit confused here. So I'm just going to be connecting it in a straight line like this. So from the top of the chest line, I'm going to be connecting it downwards in a straight line like this. Now, if your line is too straight or maybe you feel it is too straight, you don't have to worry. By the time you take in the dart, everything is going to be shaped okay. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is from the shoulder slanting, I'm going to be measuring down to the chest line. And whatever I get, I'm going to be dividing into two. 
i got 6.5 inches after measuring so i'm just going to be folding my tape this way so i can get the center point so after getting the center point i just placed it back like that and i marked where the center is now on that center point i am going to be going in by half an inch so like that and i am going to be connecting with my ruler now the reason why this is like this is because we know how by the time we finish um so we finish sewing and there's this extra bulges coming out on the front armhole so in order to prevent situations like that we have to take make the front bodies one inch deeper than the back so this is it this is our bodies our front bodies so far so i'm just going to cut this out and show us the final results so after cutting this is what we have this is what we have for our front block so after taking in the dots like this you see that everything is going to go in shape now what i'm going to do is i'm going to be tracing this out on my back to get my back bodies so here on the back i've already drawn the shoulder line and for the center front of the back i took in one inch inwards so this one inch i took is going to be serving as the zipper allowance so this is our zip allowance so i am going to just place the front bodies on it and i am going to be tracing out the shoulder the dart and the neck so i'm just going to be tracing everything out for the back So after tracing now this is what i have now you can see that for the back that it starts one inch above the um bust line the back the front that starts one inch below the bust line but the back starts one inch above the bust line as you can see so for the neck we are not going to be making the same neck for the back since the back neck is usually higher than the front so we are going to be taking one and a half inch on the side like this and we are going to be connecting it like this to get our back neckline so this is it for the back neckline and after taking it i'm just going to be tracing out the armhole and the measurements So after tracing out the armhole and the measurements, this is what I have. Now if you notice, the back and the front armhole are not the same. Like I said before, in order to prevent front bulges, we have to make the front armhole deeper than the back. Now this is just basically it for the um, bodies. As you can see, there is no much difference. So. This is it for the front and this is it for the back now if you like this video please subscribe and if you like to see more videos like this please like and share and also drop it